What is up, guys? My name is Lover Fedla, and welcome back to Pixar. Today, we're going to be talking about staffs and magic in Pixar, one of the coolest things that I've ever seen in my life in a video game. We're going to show you right here, right now. So in Pixar, there's various staves and various different weapons. You can use magic bullets. If you haven't seen my video yesterday, check that out to see how you can use those. But today we're going to be looking at the staff and like how you can use it and what the different types of element you can put in the staff does. So to start off, we're going to do this at nighttime so you can see the magic a little bit easier. So it's going to be kind of hard to see until I start using spells. And here's a cool little green rock. I'm not really sure what that is, to be honest with you. If I scan it, it says it's emerald, so that's really cool. So we're going to go ahead and take out our first staff, and this one contains what is known as a dark stone essence. So in order to use magic, you have to create a staff from a, a magic table. You craft it in the magic table, and the staffs need to be loaded with different types of essence, which provides you with different abilities. So if you've seen the Avatar series, think of it like you are putting in your air bending or your water bending, and it blows your mind. So the first one is dark magic, all right? So you can read it. It says powders full dark energy, blah, blah, blah. But then at the end, it says renders target unable to move for a short period and deals increased damage against metal. So that means you're probably going to be raiding a lot of bases with your dark metal powder. So if we actually go into first person, take out our staff and just try it on this guy, you can see the giant orbs fall from the sky wherever you point. And these giant orbs slow things and deal damage and also deal metal damage. So it's got a pretty good range. If I want to shoot it on that tree, you literally just point at that tree and a giant dark orb of doom falls from the sky and deals incredible damage. So I can see people using this kind of like sneaking on the ground, taking a dark orb shot and running. Because it comes from the sky, you have to have a ceiling. So that really changes your thought process. You can't just build a wall and hide behind it. You have to protect from the sky. And you can just spam these all over the place, drop dark balls of death all over. So if you got a tribe of like 10 people, I cannot imagine how intense that PvP is going to be. So this is the dark essence, and that is what it does. Slows you, deals damage to metal, and it looks freaking sweet. And it does deals damage to people too. Up next, we've got the Water Magic Stone. This one does a slowing of their movement speed as well as extra damage against multiple structures. So I guess that would mean it's useful indoors where there's like a, like a lot of crafting things or something, or maybe if there's a lot of buildings. This one shoots out like a missile, a projectile. So if we shoot it at that wolf, you can see a little... Uh, let's go ahead and try it there. See a little ice crystal ball shoot out like you're a waterbender and you shoot it out. And... If the devs are watching this game, I do encourage you guys to add more variation to the magic. Um, I like that there's magic, but I wish there was more different, like different spells. Like I want more than just an ice ball. I want like a wave. I want an ice crystal shard. I want ice to rain from the sky. I want a more in-depth magic system. And so I think that should be definitely considered in a future update. But you can see it slows them. Um, it's you know it's it's a good weapon. It's pretty solid. Definitely a big slow right there. We might even be able to outrun this guy completely. Okay, just want to go into god mode real quick so that guy doesn't kill us and ruin our video. So, there's that. That is the water. Now we're going to wind magic, and this one's incredible. It says it deals large damage, but it's weak against structures, and you guys are going to love how this one looks. So it, it actually shoots out. I'm going to fly now, just so you can see this one. Shoots out a giant whirlwind of wind on the ground, and then just does, uh, does pretty good damage. Doesn't hurt structures, but hurts creatures like crazy. So if we chase this guy, we can just literally shoot whirlwinds at him. Like, it just, it's just amazing. One of my favorite weapons, if not the all-time favorite of mine. And let's go ahead and just go back to walking real quick. So we got a female ghost dragon over here. If you just catch it in some whirlwinds, you just get some good damage going on. And then, of course, if people are standing in it, they'll take more. So I can see people chaining these together, doing crazy damage with, like, all kinds of different spells coming in left and right. And it's really cool to think about. Thunder magic is next. You guys can guess what this does. It drops their torpidity, deals increased damage against wood. Makes sense. Wood's gonna burn the wood's gonna burn from electric. So you click, lightning bolt shoots from the sky. Pretty simple stuff. Pretty accurate. It does pretty good damage. I do quite like it, and I'm assuming it can knock things out. So this one you'll kinda have to predict where they're going on the ground, but it does come down fairly quickly. And um, since it comes down quick, you can't stack a bunch of them like the dark orb. Like we had 30 dark orbs at once. With this one, there's only one, and the range is fairly limited. I can't shoot that. I you know I can aim far, but it's not going that far. What's up, dragon? So that is the lightning. There's a thunder, very cool one. Next, we have the fire stone essence, which deals burn damage to the target and deals increased damage against wood as well. So these both deal damage to wood. Don't build out of wood. Mages will destroy you. And this one's really cool. It's just a classic fireball. It comes out literally just burns them and they just have fire around them i mean it's, it's cool i love it you need to have a nice firebolt spell and i'm assuming this one's going to deal some of the biggest damage because that burn over time is probably going to be pretty serious so i think that uh that's you know that's the fire nothing too crazy about it it's just a cool nice one to have and then we have two more left the light magic stone if you saw my video this one doesn't deal damage but it heals you 
you stand under this, it's going to create an aura of healing. So it may be beneficial to bring a healer or two with you when you're PvPing to spawn a couple of these giant healing rings above you in your, your fob or whatever it is. You can actually have multiples out, it appears. So if you want to really heal, stack them up. Maybe they stack, maybe they don't. We'll have to test that in a future video, but they sure do last for a while. So healing shouldn't be a problem if you have plenty of these things. So you can hang out under there. Up next, and finally, I actually have one. Yeah, this is the last one, the stone crystal. Um, this one may be hard to see in dark, but essentially you shoot out a bolt, it hits the ground, and spikes shoot out of the ground. It does good damage, I believe, to stone, if I read that again, double check. And uh, deals with just a ton of damage in general. So this is your earth bending comes in. It has huge potential. The magic system is really in-depth and really good. The creature system is incredible. I'm really happy with how the creature system is, like the fact that there's magic and crazy creatures in it, and you can enchant your weapons and stuff. And to me, that says... Unlike Minecraft, there could be a legitimate PvP community here. Like in Minecraft, the PvP is not really there. You know, you hit him with swords, you got some magic, whatever. It's really stupid. In this game, there is a huge, uh, just huge array of directions you could go with your gameplay. You could decide to be an Earth Mage. You could decide to use enchanted weapons. You could decide to do everything. You can decide to farm. You can decide to build. You can decide to tame. There's a lot of freaking items in this game to craft, to test out, and to use to build with and to just be creative with and uh, a lot of this stuff maybe there's more magic i'm sure there is that i haven't even looked into yet but what i want to do is just give you guys a nice brief overview as quickly as i can so that if you're new to the game you just kind of know what you're getting into you understand what the magic looks like you understand what the magic weapons look like like the magic shotgun or you know magic what is this sniper or something no this is the rocket magic rocket now, before I end this video today, I want to do something very interesting. I'm curious what it's like super deep in this world. If it's if it looks cool, if it looks dumb, I don't know what it looks like. I don't know what to expect. So we're going to dig a hole as deep as we can on God mode. And we're going to see. Oh, there's a little something coming in here. Let's get a torch, actually, so we can see. All right, so I'm going to drop a torch in the ground. We're going to keep on digging down and just see, like, what is at the bottom of this world? Unless this is. Okay, that's not the bottom. We're good. We're going to keep going. And we're going to have to take on two down this time. And I feel like you got to know, is there bedrock? Is there lava? Like, what is at the bottom of this world? And what kind of resources can we find down here? So we're finding some gold, finding some rock. And this is a mole pickaxe, if you were curious. So you get it by killing moles and using mole. Yeah, it's a long story. I spawned it in. Now we're getting marble down here. So a little bit of sulfur. So I guess this gives you a good idea of how deep you have to go for certain materials. Very nice, though. I really like how the gold looks. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? not too dark yet either and it seems like we can go pretty deep so i'm really happy with how this is going and i'm really happy with how the gameplay is on this game i wasn't sure what i expected at first in that if i had to guess let's go ahead and scan it bedrock cube so this would be the bottom of the world so let's go back up real quick f7 to fly turn back off god mode very quick fly as well so that is as deep as you can go now i did fall into a cave um what is that male armadillo it's on fire that's really weird some spiders. So there are caves. There are all kinds of materials down here. And this even appears to be some sort of temple or something. Let's just walk through it real quick. Just for just because I'm really curious about what's in here. So once you go in here, there looks to be some kind of ruins you can explore. You can kill monsters, explore through doors, all kinds of crazy stuff. And I'm guessing you'll find some really cool loot in here. So I don't want to spoil this for you guys. I want you to earn it yourself. Kill your own monsters and die your own way. But that's the magic system. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys like that, please remember to subscribe. This is your all-in-one PixArc location, guys. As always, spread the love, and I'll see you all tomorrow.